Good day students! Welcome back to Maestrang Techie YouTube channel! We are now in the last lesson of quarter 4 grade 9 science. Good job class for making it here. If you haven't watched our previous lessons, check the links in the description box below. Week 8 lesson is all about electricity generation, transmission, and distribution. Check out our learning objective. Explain how electrical energy is generated, transmitted, and distributed. If you want to know more about this lesson, please keep on watching. Electrical energy is produced from various sources. Electricity is vital to mankind, especially in this modern age. Industries use it to make different products that are beneficial to man. We also enjoy its benefits in our homes through our electrical appliances, gadgets, lights, alarm systems, and others. Electricity has been an integral part of our lives since the time it was discovered. Most of the comforts we enjoy nowadays employ the use of electricity. As you watch this video lesson, you use electricity. Do you ever imagine how electricity reaches you from where it came from? To provide electrical energy, it consists of three processes, generation, transmission, and distribution. How is electricity produced? Electricity must be generated from a source, the power plant. And there are different types of power plants depending on the source of energy that is used to generate electricity. For example, a geothermal power plant. It uses heat from within the earth to produce electricity. Geothermal power plants require high temperature, 300 degree Fahrenheit to 700 degree Fahrenheit. These resources are used by drilling wells into the earth and then piping steam or hot water to the surface. The hot water or steam drives generator turbines that produces electricity. When the steam cools down, it condenses to water and is injected back into the ground to be used again, as shown in your screen right now. Electricity may also be generated from other sources such as running water, wind, light, heat from the sun, nuclear reactions, burning of fossil fuels, and many more. The Philippines, in its quest to sustain its rising economy, has topped several viable yet non-conventional energy resources. Now, let us talk about generation and magnetism. Previously, it was discussed that electricity can be generated through a variety of sources, and these sources supply the energy necessary to turn large turbines which are then connected to a device called generator. This device converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. But how is this possible? It is made possible by the interaction between a changing magnetic field and a conductor inside the generator assembly. A magnet at rest or a conductor at rest cannot produce electric current, so current is induced by either moving the magnet or the conductor. This phenomenon was discovered by Michael Faraday and is known as electromagnetic induction. Next is transmission and distribution. How does electricity reach you? After generating electricity in the power plant, it then flows through large wires connected to a step-up transformer. A step-up transformer raises the voltage as high as 756 kV so it can travel long distances. The electric current then travels through transmission power lines going to substations where it is lowered by a step-down transformer to between 13 kV to 2 kV. From substations, the electricity is sent to a pole transformer or a transformer box where it is lowered again to between 240 volts and 120 volts. It is from here where electricity comes into your home through a service box, where your electric meter is located to measure how much you consume. Wires around your house take electricity to power your lights and appliances. Look at the photo that shows the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity. Now, let us talk about consumption. How is it computed? How much did you and your family paid for electric this month? 
Do you have any idea how electric companies charge your use of electricity? It depends on how much electrical energy you used. Let us find out how. One thing to be considered is how much electrical power was consumed. Aside from that, the time of usage of electricity is also considered. To get the total energy used, you have to multiply the power consumption by the amount of time or duration of use. Here is our formula. E is equal to P times T, where E is the energy use, that is in kilowatt hour, P is for power, which is in watts, and T is for time, which is in either seconds or hour. The unit of measurement for energy used is kilowatt hour, which is 1 kilowatt of power for a period of 1 hour. Now, let us have a sample problem. How much electrical energy is used by a 250 watt refrigerator for 8 hours? If the cost of electricity is 8.32 pesos per kilowatt hour, how much will the use of the refrigerator cost? Now, let us identify our given. We have the power, which is 250 watts, and the time, which is 8 hours. We are going to find for the energy and for the cost. Our formula for finding the energy is E is equal to P times the time. Before we proceed to calculating the energy, let us have first the conversion. Let us convert 250 watts into kilowatts. And we all know that 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts. Therefore, we can now convert 250 watts. Canceling the unit, 250 times 1 is 250. 250 divided by 1000, the quotient is 0 0.25 kilowatts. Therefore, this is our power. Now, let us calculate the energy. Let us substitute our given to our formula. We have here our power, which is 0 0.25 kilowatt, and the time, which is 8 hours. Multiplying these two quantities, we have our product, which is 2 kilowatt hour. Now that we have the energy, let us calculate the cost. To find the cost, we have to multiply the cost per kilowatt hour times the energy used. And the product will be 16.64 pesos. And that is our final answer. Let us summarize our lesson today by having these key concepts. Power plant is a facility where electricity is generated from energy sources. Generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Transmission lines are power cables that carries high voltage electricity over long distances. Distribution lines carries electricity at lower voltage and is used to distribute power to end consumers. The basic equipment to provide consumer with electricity are the turbine, the generator, and the transformer. The turbine is a rotating shaft with blades. A generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. A transformer either increases or decreases the voltage. And lastly, there is always power loss as electricity is transmitted from power plants to consumers because of resistance of the wires. And that's it for our lesson for today. Again, I hope you learned something new today. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it to your classmates. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification button to keep you updated for our future videos. Please also do subscribe to KCMC TV YouTube channel for some inspirational spoken poetry videos i will appreciate it comment down for a shout out shout out to valerie lynn rotersos precious hzj paulina galias jade camba and mom melanie bigcas and shout out to all the grade 9 students of balingasa high school thank you all so much for watching and supporting my videos and see you on my next one bye